In this video, we're going to use our addition rules to add decimals. So first we need to think about our addition rules. Is this an example where signs are the same you add, or signs are different you subtract? Take a look at this number. It's a negative number. This number is a positive number. So signs are different, we subtract. Now when we're subtracting, we need to figure out which number is larger. That's the number we'll put on the top. So the first thing we need to do is figure out which is larger in terms of absolute value. So I'm going to start by taking the absolute value of negative 7.283, and that is equal to positive 7.283. Remember, absolute value is distance from zero. Basically, if it was negative, it becomes positive. If it was already positive, it just stays positive. So the absolute value of 7.14 is just 7.14. So now that they're both positive, we can compare them. And if you look at the ones place, they're both sevens. The one is the ones place is the largest place here, represents the largest amount. And those are the same, so we can't really compare those. Next, we should compare the tenths place. And let me show you why. Basically, a tenth looks like this. If you divide a pie into 10 pieces, one tenth would be this slice right here. However, if you divide a pie into 100 pieces, look, one little sliver is going to be super tiny. And I would give you a picture of thousands, but look at what it looks like when you divide it by 100. Think about how hard it would be to draw dividing up a pie into thousands if it already looks really difficult to draw dividing this by just 100. So think about it. Tenths are the bigger slices, hundredths are tinier than that, a lot tinier, and then if you were to divide this into th thousands, the circle into thousands, that would be the tiniest out of the, the places we're looking at. So this is the tenths place. You want to compare the two tenths to one tenth, and two tenths is more than one tenth, so we know that this number is larger. Another trick for figuring this out is to just say, all right, well, I'm comparing tenths, hundreds, and thousands, so I need to, to have down here tenths, hundreds, and thousands, so I'm just going to add a zero to the thousands place. And then I can compare the number 140 to 283, and 283 is greater than 140, so that's another way you can compare the two. So I have figured out that 7.283 is larger than 7.140. You can also, if you prefer, read this 7 and 283 thousandths, 7 and, and, well, how it's written up here would be 7 and 14 hundredths, or you could say 7 and 140 thousandths. All right, so we decided that signs are different, we're subtracting. So 3 minus 0 is 3, 8 minus 4 is 4, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 7 minus 7 is 0. And then we have to decide what do we have more of. Well, which was the larger value in terms of absolute value? Well, this was the larger value. So this number is what we have more of. So our answer needs to be a negative. So our answer is negative 143 thousandths, or you could say negative 0.143.